What's up everybody, Decisive TV here. We're back for another video. And today we're on our Let's Play world. Last ep our last episode, we went ahead and built our home sweet home, our nice humble abode, our nice place that we're gonna be sleeping. <laughs> uh, yeah, so last episode, we decided to uh, go ahead and finish off the... Um, the, the starter house La uh, for a few episodes actually all series it's just been this wood frame but now it actually uh, is fully built so uh, as you can tell a little bit has changed a little bit has changed um, I put all of our storage from our shit shack down there uh, into the house so all of our items are here now uh, I put the bed here as well, probably set my spawn, respawn point. Um, I also put the furnaces, the brewing stand, all of our utility items down here. Uh, as you can tell, I have signs set up like kitchen, um, bedroom, storage, that sort of stuff. Uh, I also expanded this in between episodes, a door leading to sunroom. So I think this actually looks pretty nice. I, I like I like the way that this looks, even on the outside. So it's just one big uh, kind of sunroom, I guess. The The roof is a little bit weird, in my opinion. But, I mean, uh, to be honest, I, I kind of like that it's a bit shorter than the big roof up top. I have some nether work going on the outside here. Uh, eventually, we'll, we'll come through and we'll probably do... A little bit more uh, terraining around the house uh, eventually probably I can oh yeah I also have a little bit of carpet red carpet because we have a lot of red in here and it kind of stands out a little bit goes well with the uh, the bamboo as well so yeah um, but we can get rid of the sign now which is perfect uh, but this episode we got to do the interior so we got to make a kitchen we gotta we gotta make a bedroom and uh, we gotta well, I, I don't know what we do for the storage, to be honest, but we'll, we'll figure it out. But if we go out here to the uh, the Patreon slash memberships uh, donation thing, treeway, uh, tree archway, I, I think we'll just call it the treeway because there's trees. If we go here, I did the signs. So uh, I asked my Patreon supporters uh, what colors they liked. And Rogue Outcast said blue, but like pure blue, like lapis lazuli or the blue dye looked really, really harsh and you could barely read it. So I just went with a light blue, which looks a bit more white than blue, but I don't know. It still looks a little bit blue, right? So did that, and then Tom Millard wanted purple, and purple actually you can read it. <laughs> so did purple, and they also wanted a cherry tree. So now we have a little bit of a cherry blossom tree right here. I just replaced all the leaves and the wood, basically the same tree right there. Kind of meshed the uh, the leaves together like so, so it didn't look really weird. But um, yeah, but now we actually have a third person uh who actually did a youtube membership so if you guys see that little join button down below um that you can you can click and then you can do a uh, three dollar supporter five dollar supporter so on and so forth so we have christian robbie i think that's how you pronounce that uh, with a $3 supporter. Started that, what was it, two days ago? So 12 slash 5 slash 23. One month. Perfect. And Christian, if uh, you are watching and you are at this point in the video, uh, let me know what color you like or would like for your sign. And uh, yeah, if you do want a cherry blossom tree, I don't really mind. Uh, you guys are supporting me anyway, so, you, you know, like, I don't mind doing the cherry blossom tree, even if it is that, quote unquote, the lowest tier. Uh, you guys are still supporting me, so I will do whatever you guys want. I just 
won't be able, won't be making a big tree because that is for the the higher tiers. Um, okay, so we gotta get a sapling, and hopefully, should have bone meal somewhere, right? Well, I do have bones, so we'll do that, and then we can head down. Hopefully, this doesn't make a big tree. I guess eventually we should probably start going to this side, right? Maybe after these three. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I think actually having the this uh, ring like this probably makes a tree grow exactly like that. Never, never knew that before. Cool. Okay, now that we have that done, uh, thank you again, Christian Robbie. For, uh, the supports over on YouTube. Uh, well, yeah, as you guys can tell, Shit Shack is empty. Still need to replace where the crafting table was with dirt block. Do that real quick. Shh, don't worry about it. Um, so I still kept it here because I kind of, I kind of, it has some sort of sentimental value, right? Like this is our, this is our first base here in our world. Like, I can't, I, I just feel like I just can't get rid of it, you know, um, I feel like that would, that would kind of be, like, pretty mean to do, so, uh, at least I can't get rid of it without you guys being here, let's get rid of it, let's break it down, wait, break it down, boom, perfect, where once was the shit shack is now dirt, making a weird looking B or something like that. I don't know what that is or a butt. Oh, there we go. And then the torch right there. Ah, oh, oh, this area is so much more clean now. Look at that. We don't have chests everywhere. We don't have a bunch of furnaces everywhere and everything. All that stuff is in our beautiful, beautiful house. I'm actually so proud of this house. You guys don't even know. Like, this is the first time that I think I've built a starter base without having to do it in creative. Like, I completely, uh, like, went off of my own thoughts and, like, went with the flow. I didn't have anything built beforehand. I don't have a creative world. I do have a test world, uh, but that's mostly for redstone and mini games and that sort of stuff. So, that was super duper awesome. Uh, okay. So we got we gotta we gotta do the the interior. We gotta do the interior because this place looks kind of. It doesn't look ugly, but it doesn't look fancy. So let's go ahead. We gotta make a kitchen. Uh, so making a kitchen, we prop. What do we want actually? So I think. Then we'd probably want to do some cool stuff in the kitchen. So I think we're going to extend the kitchen out, the kitchen floor out to here. So we can go ahead and get rid of all of this. Um, so I kind of want to go for a pretty cool pattern, uh, which will probably just go something like this. So it will be oak. And then I think it's, Birch, spruce, oak, birch, spruce, oak. So it would just be something like this. Uh, and then it kind of goes diagonal a little bit. Okay, oak. No, 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 no. Wait, what am I doing? I this. Yes. Okay, so I think I got it. Um, this looks a about what I was going for. I think I think we might need to extend it one more just to make it look a little bit better. But this. Does look about right. Yeah, so kind of like this checkered sort of pattern. Um, so we alternate the wood, as you can see, uh, and then spruce with birch. So I think 
that looks pretty good. Um, I would definitely go for like a, a stone kind of floor or like a, a checkered um, white and black kind of floor, except we don't really have those materials. <laughs> so, um, you know, like, well, I mean, I guess we do, but I feel like this gives a bit more character. Yeah, I feel like this just gives it a bit more character. Uh, and it goes along with the house a bit better because most of it is wood and uh, kind of brown, like the mud, the spruce planks up here and everything. So it uh, just goes with the house a little bit more. But now we actually have to work on uh, the the, uh, the 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 counters and that sort of stuff. So we, we definitely need the smooth stone. Um, what else? Oak signs, maybe? Okay, so let's lay this out so we're gonna want to have smooth stone slabs uh we do need an iron block so we can make something like a refrigerator maybe maybe we do that and then a dispenser and then uh, we gotta get iron doors and then we do that boom refrigerator by the way and then we're just gonna want to uh, i really want to have this set up so we have a furnace leading into another furnace uh just for practical use right now uh eventually once we set up like a an auto smelter like a, a big o smelter or something like that maybe we'll we'll remove this but for right now for practical use in our house here i think i'm gonna keep this uh so we just gotta we gotta put in the blast furnace as well uh which could probably do something like that maybe and then uh we can do something like that and then maybe we'll put like the stone cutter next to the the blast furnace or something Oh, and I guess for practical use, we could actually put in a crafting table in the, in the middle of the island here. So let's get rid of this one. Uh, brewing stand, we can probably just plop that on the, the furnace here. Actually, well, maybe, maybe we put it right there. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think that works. So the kitchen needs something, and I think that something is a lantern right in the middle something like that maybe we maybe we should make a few few lanterns let's uh have sticks upstairs i probably shouldn't make planks into more sticks i already have a crap ton there we go and then we could just kind of spread it out like that maybe Ooh, ooh, we should uh we should uh man this is getting pretty expensive uh, can I do that? Oh my god, it makes one chain. I forgot. I forgot how messed up the chain recipe is. An iron ingot with two iron nuggets to make one singular chain is insane. So that looks pretty good, I think. It's accessible. Uh, oh yeah, we need to... So we gotta make this into stone because I need to make a button for the, the fridge here. Um, and then maybe we, we should put some food from our food chest apples cookies work put a stack of cookies in there uh put some melons we could put some we don't have a lot of food <laughs> we do not have that much food oh boy okay yeah we can just i guess cookies apples and melon nice uh, and then put the coal in there. Let's make this into a stone button. There we go. Bleh. Nice. We got a cookie. Nom, 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 nom. Beautiful. Okay. Now that we have that. The, uh, so I, I'm happy about this kitchen. I think it looks pretty good. I feel like we should put bookshelves in here. Just like random bookshelves. Maybe, maybe even chiseled bookshelves would be pretty cool. How do you make chiseled bookshelves? Chisel bookshelves. Oh, oak slabs with spruce planks. Ooh. I guess that will give us a place to put our uh, en enchanting books as well. Or enchanted books. 
Oh my gosh, I'm going to be have, having to do so much cutting this episode. I am very, very distracted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this video recorded. It's so late. Uh, yeah, we'll do something like that. Turn the rest of that into planks. Okay, 18 chiseled bookshelves. Wow. Um, do something like that. Oh, yeah, that's right. They have a, an interesting texture on top. Maybe, maybe we... Ooh. Guys, I'm getting an idea. And I don't know if this will be practical or not. But maybe we do... Maybe we do chiseled bookshelves for the floor. I think we do chiseled bookshelves for the floor. That looks pretty cool. Can I also enter? Okay, you cannot interact with them on top. You can only interact from the side. Beautiful. So we can go ahead and put a few of these random books in here. Oh, I also laid out the, uh, the path. So this is how the path is going to kind of curve around and everything in the the path that the path is going to go through <laughs> so uh oh yes i should oh my god the chickens they just produce so many eggs now let's just go ahead and gather up some weeds i should probably actually harvest all of this i like never really harvest this thing and i probably should i just don't like doing the upkeep of it you know Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta let a farm grow and then forget about it. <laughs> okay. Come here, cows. Yes, all of you make moo moo babies. So, now that they're all on that side, we go in and then we're like, bam. 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 I really should get looting three on the sword before I do this. But it's just so much fun i need the leather i need the bookshelves oh my gosh so many parentless parentless children okay i think that'll be enough <laughs> run run I, do, I can't look them in the face anymore man i feel so bad <laughs> i just like slaughtered like half of their population they're okay. I'm sure. I'm sure they're fine. They're definitely not staring into my deep soul right now. Uh, okay. Sugar cane. Oh my god, we don't have, like, any. And it's already nighttime. Okay, sugar cane achieved. So, let's go ahead and make some books. Okay, so 24 books. We should be able to make quite a bit of bookshelves. Boo. Oh, actually, I should probably keep some of these books, right? So then we can do this. Yes. Okay, well, I guess I uh, I will breed up more cows on or during the off-camera time uh, to make a bit... Whoa, what the heck? The variated bookshelves got an update, I think. What the heck? I've never seen sideways books. That's cool. Uh, okay, so we, I guess, do something like that perhaps i think that looks pretty cool um let's go up here so we gotta do the bedroom next because it's kind of just sitting here uh maybe we do what do you even include in a bedroom uh maybe we just get some leaves let's get some leaves a bit of jungle leaves too i guess uh, and then we can just scatter these throughout. Yeah. Yeah, do something like that. Okay, that adds a little bit of green to it, so that's okay. Bookshelves, and then maybe we do... Oh, man, we're going to need lanterns for days. Might put slabs on the roof, uh, just so we can cover that thing up. Uh, I think that might be okay to do yeah that looks that looks like something i think maybe we could go up one more with it i just don't want it to be too dark down here you know so i guess we'll see what that looks like in at night but i think that'll be pretty good okay uh over here we need 
we need one more lantern also sorry if i sound super monotone uh like everybody's asleep right now because it's like midnight <laughs> uh i i kind of went to sleep i took a nap i was gonna wake up earlier but um you know sometimes things happen like your phone dies because you're in the middle of a call with somebody and you forget to plug in your phone so yeah but uh let's should i do cherry slabs Ooh, yeah i kind of like that <laughs> kind of like how nice that is um maybe not mm, maybe we do birch i think that looks pretty good uh i need to get some wool okay uh wool has been achieved so maybe we do something like this uh um, definitely gonna need a little bit more uh hopefully i don't need more white wool though um i actually you know what i kind of like how messy that is uh but i i would like it to go all the way around okay you know what i need to go get two more wool oh okay oh, oh okay there we go all right uh nice so i think that looks pretty good um is it becoming nighttime already it looks like it yeah it is okay let's see what this looks like at night uh we need to do something to provide light around this i don't really have any more lighting blocks uh maybe i do need to actually put a lantern i should probably put a lantern up in the middle here somewhere doesn't have to be super low because we don't need too much light below but up top we do so maybe we do something like that and then up at the the very tip top here maybe we do another lantern Bleh. we just plop a lantern down <laughs> i'm not sure i don't know what to do here well uh this place looks pretty lit up though uh it doesn't seem like mobs are gonna spawn so i can get rid of the storage sign now uh let's go downstairs no more signs yeah i think i think we're okay so uh maybe maybe i actually maybe i should bring this down one more no i think it looks better one up one i don't know <laughs> okay i think that looks pretty good yeah yeah i'm happy with that cozy cozy down here as well i'm gonna get more books and fill in a lot more of these chiseled bookshelves but uh yeah uh nighttime and everything like that pretty spooky so uh, i guess we could put like a welcome mat down or something like that right here uh, i need need more lantern dude lanterns are like one of the greatest things in the game to be quite frank i don't know who frank is but there we go beautiful and it's like hidden up in there oh Oh, it looks so good. Gonna make another one. Probably put it like right there. Ooh, yeah. It looks so good. Okay, let's go into F3 real quick and make sure that this... Okay, yeah, this isn't even close to to being spawnable. Perfect. It's just a little bit dark right there. Um, Maybe we should... Maybe we should do something right there. Maybe I get, get rid of the anvil. I kind of like put it right there. Okay, that just looks out of place. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, I should probably put the anvil in here, shouldn't I? In the kitchen? That would make sense. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. I think I like that. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Got to put all of these blocks back. The only bad thing about building is having to reorganize everything. So, to be honest, I, I'm kind of just throwing everything in the chest right now i know what the chests have in them so i guess that's good but oh wait i need to i need to put the door back on the um the fridge I just realized that all right door is back on wonderful still works yes it does okay maybe we have it open the other way possible okay it's not gonna want to open the other way huh well i think i'm pretty happy I'm pretty happy with this interior. 
I'm not too upset about oh wait it's still nighttime I forgot I haven't slept uh okay so yeah again I'll go get more books and we'll we'll fill in the chisel bookshelves a bit more um but yeah so I think that's gonna be it for this episode I know I'm sorry it, it, like this episode is gonna have so many cuts and everything I'm just I'm so sorry about that but uh you know distractions happen sometimes during recording and I'm also I'm not able to to be fully like energetic or anything like that in this episode so hopefully it, it was more of a chill out episode for you guys um I know a lot of you put this on in the background while you're playing Minecraft which I really really appreciate it that's like a huge compliment <laughs> um you guys listen to my voice ramble on about whatever during uh during your Minecraft sessions is, is pretty interesting. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new here. Let me know what you guys think about the interior, about the, the sunroom and everything like that. Uh, I know I didn't build the sunroom on camera with you guys, but uh, I think it still looks pretty good, right? Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.